Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is uh, our second lesson in our uh, course Excel for Engineers. In this lesson, we'll uh, go through the common formulas in Excel to check out how it is work. Okay, the first group of formulas we have it, uh, it is the date, date formulas. We have a very nice formula called today. This formula will give you the date of your computer date and it is not fixed it will change whenever you open the excel file according to your uh, computer date so i'll just type equal then today in the excel there is very very nice feature that if you type some uh, few words of the formula it will complete suggesting to you what is the formula if you double click on this one it will guide you how to use it so i have to use two brackets then enter this is the date came uh, from the formula today this is very nice formula i'm using it regularly and uh, it is very easy as well the other formula we have here it is now the same concept just type equal and now and here it is to return the current date and time formatted as a date and time so this is will include the time as well so this is the time and the dates my favorite formula it is the networking days international this will calculate how many working days between two dates let's assume that we have here a start date and we have here finish date okay and we have some holidays let's say the start date 1st January 13 and the finish date end of March 13 and we have some holidays is second January and another holiday 25 February and we want to calculate how many working days between these two dates taking into our consideration the holidays which is second January 25th February or whatever identified in this set so I'm going to use equal net working days international the excel will guide me now is asking me to type the start date to select the start date so i'll select this cell as a start date then comma the end date this one and here the weekend we have too many options here if you have two days as a weekend per week or one day so let's say assume there's a friday only we have as a weekend then we have a list of holidays let's select this one and just close the brackets and enter this is the result 74 is uh, uh, working days between 1st January 2013 and 30 March 2013 taking into consideration that the Friday is a weekend so it is not uh, accounted and it is deducted that the second january and 25 february from working days because they are a holiday actually this is a core formula any planning engineer or any engineer who is dealing with excel should be aware of this formula it's helped me a lot and of course in our course we'll go in details in other lessons or how to use this uh, formula in details okay uh, the most common formula in excel it is the f excel f excel if i click f then double click this one it start telling me the logical test so i have a logical test if this logical test is true then I, there is some value will came and if it is false another value will came okay so let's say we have here this a and this B let's say the, give the A 10 and B 25 
I want to I want to make this cell to say okay if a greater than b okay so let's make the formula if so if the logical test this one greater than this one then value of true okay and I put it between this because it is a, a, a typing or if it is number no need to put this brackets if it is if this if a is less than b which is giving value false i'll say not okay and i'll close my brackets so this is not okay because 10 is less than 25 if we change this one to 35 for example this will be okay so this is very simple formula and very basic as well formula f if we want to add one more condition let's let's say we have c and let's make the c 20 and i want to change the formula to have too many conditions rather than one condition so i make f equal f then and okay logical one i i want to make a, a too many logics not only one logic so if this cell is greater than this cell this logic number one and this cell less than this cell this is logic two value of true let's say type 10 and value of false zero so this is false because the condition not happen okay because this one is not less than this one b is not less than c so we have here zero if we make this one 15 then it will come true so this is the, the same concept it's a very simple formula okay one of my favorite formula is uh, lookup lookup is very useful formula especially if you want to sort or find or search information uh, from a sheet to sheet or from the same sheet from a place to another place let's say we have here a date and we have here sales and we have here Let's say starting period January 2013 and up to 10. Let's say we have the date, the sales 2500, 3000, 2000, and we'll drag this one. Okay, let's say I want only first January then 4 January uh, then 9 January I want to see the sales on this three dates only of course it is in, in this example it is very easy but if you have thousands of them so it will be very useful so what I'm going to say to use VLOOKUP VLOOKUP telling me VLOOKUP value this one so I want to search on this value table to array this table to search here when I found this value which value to return column number this is column one this is column two so I need the values on column number two so I'll type two and here I have to choose exact match and then enter so he, this formula check this this number and search it here when it find it it return back the the value in the column number two so if i drag this formula like this it will give me the values of each date i specified here if i change this one from 9 january to 10 january the value here will be changed 
based on the cell value we will see in our course how we can use this one in our uh, engineering work how to make a report using this formula but for now I need you to know just how it works and you start practice start thinking how you can get benefit of this formula searching for values in another sheet and return back whatever column you want from the uh, the whole sheet okay the fourth group we have here is the math so round it is from its name it's round the figures so we have 2.256 and we change format cells and make it number with three digits this plus 1.5 let's say we have these numbers with this ugly decimal so we want to to round this figure so simply I'll click round equal round this is a number and I want to round it to zero digits so simply it became zero digits if I drag it like this it will be round whatever below 0.5 it will be removed if it is uh, more than 0.5 it will be added to the number another nice formula is the sum if let's say name here and sales this is the name John Sarah another John Mike then Edward we have too many names here <coughs> this sales one thousand this is five hundred 2500 3000 1400 I want okay let's see how to do it so I I'll, I'll make equal sum if double click the range this one then comma criteria zone I want to search for zoom and submission range this one just to close it enter here is the value 3500 let's check this is 1000 this is 2500 if we change this one to zoom the value will be changed so this is the same if condition we have but we uh, merge it with the sum so it is sum if sum if simply just identify the range then in this range put a criteria and identify the submission range when you find the criteria submit one the same here same concept but instead of sum we can use count let's see how the count if is working so equal to count if just the range comma criteria let's say zoom we want to count how many zoom in this one so the number came three we have here one two three if we change this zoom to another name like sarah instead of zone should come the result one 
and here is this. Okay, another two formula, maximum and minimum. Let's say we have some dates. First January, second February, third March, fourth April. Okay. The maximum I want to get the maximum date of this date. So equal maximum double click to check how it is working number one two three just drag this one close this will retain the maximum date or maximum value or, or whatever maximum value of this values and the object of this one instead of maximum if I use minimum to give me the minimum value in this way uh, I think so far we covered the very common formulas you can see in the thickest uh, other formulas and I hope you enjoy this lesson thank you very much